Hello, Gemini. What's going on? It's time for your weekly love reading. We're going to take a look at April. April. Oh my God. We're all going a little bit crazy, aren't we? March 30th through April 5th, 2020. This is for love. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Gemini. Do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comment section, what are you binge watching while we are all quarantined? I want to hear it. I'm doing Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul because I like dark shit. What can I say? So let me know in your comments. Also, too, I have already meditated, listened to a little 70s classic rock, and we are set to go. <laughs> Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we need to know? March 30th through April 5th, 2020. Sometimes I say bad words. If it offends you, hard left, but I hope you stay. If you guys want the extended reading, the link is going to be below as well. Let's get to it. What happened in the past? Well, maybe you did with the King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Maybe you're dealing with another air sign. What's the current energy? What do we have? Ooh, the Eight of Swords. Look at all those swords. Gemini energy. What's on your mind or your person's mind? The Strength card. Maybe you're connecting with a Leo. All right. How does this person view you? What's their perception? The Nine of Swords. More Gemini. Look at all this mental energy, Gemini. What's going on in their emotions? How do they feel deep down? The Ace of Cups in reverse. All right. How do they want to move forward? Or how do they think you'll move forward? The Star. Major for Aquarius. So some of you are definitely dealing with an Aquarius with all this air energy as well. What's going on behind the scenes? What are the blockages? Justice. Major for Libra. What's your advice from the tarot when dealing with this person? The Knight of Wands. And what's the outcome for you guys? How's this going to play out? We have the Eight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. All right. What's going on at the bottom of the deck, Gemini? What's your overall energy? It's the Chariot. Cancerian energy. All right. Maybe you're at a distance from this person. Could be. Could be. All right. I'm going to clarify using the tarot gland. gland. Mom cannot speak, you guys. The tarot grand lux. Are you guys going batshit crazy? I mean, who isn't these days? All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. So this is for Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What's in store for love? Let's move you down a little bit so you get a nice glimpse of your cards. All right, what does Gemini need to know, please? March 30th through April 5th, 2020. I can't believe we're already almost into April. That's nuts. All right. King of Swords in the recent past. So some sort of truthful communication, or maybe somebody seemed a little bit detached as well, because somebody's trapped in their thoughts. They feel they're thinking about something over and over and over. Could be some restrictions going on right now. All right. And on their mind, they're having to kind of hold back here with the strength card or just overcome some obstacles. They're trying to find their strength. I mean, who isn't these days? They view you as being stressed out as well, though. The Nine of Swords. That's just their perception. It doesn't have to be. It's true. All right. Maybe that you're losing some sleep at night. Um, and in their emotions, they feel something's a little bit unrequited right now. With the Ace of Cups in reverse or that they just can't give you the love. But moving forward, they do, they're, they're remaining hopeful. They've got the star card here. So, all right, let's see what the hell is going on. This is for Gemini's love life. Let's see what's up. All right, let's check it. Why is the chariot the overall energy? Again, some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian. What's this chariot energy about? Temperance. Sign of Sagittarius, being patient. It's funny, temperance is coming out a lot because everybody's just trying to be patient and compromise right now. This is the yin and the yang. It's balancing the emotions. It's tempering the emotions as well and being patient. And I think it has something to do with moving forward. Why is temperance here right now? Or maybe you're at a distance. The death card, sign of Sagittarius. Oh, Sagittarius, Scorpio. We've got Sagittarius and Scorpio and Cancerian energy. Why is death here though? What is this? The Hierophant? Major for Taurus. I feel like the overall energy is moving forward towards victory or success. Maybe distance is holding you back right now. Physical, emotional. I mean, we're all kind of at a distance right now because of everything that's going on. But temperance is somebody's being patient to reconcile this and to go through a complete transformation. But an old pattern, old ways have to end. 
in order to move into this long-term commitment, belief systems, values. But the Hierophant is, you know, it's going towards a long-term relationship or possible marriage. Could be connecting with somebody that's quite spiritual as well. All right, let's jump into it. The past, we have the King of Swords. Why is this here in the past for Gemini? What is this about? The Hermit in reverse. Some sort of truthful communication. Somebody probably spoke their truth. The King of Swords is very direct, right? There's no bullshit with the King of Swords. And something came back around probably with that Hermit in reverse. Major for Virgo. What, what happened with the Hermit in reverse? What happened? Maybe you got in touch with somebody you haven't spoken to in a while. The Six of Swords. The water uber was called. More distance there. Why the six, the six of swords can be that you've come to some sort of resolution. Maybe to be patient towards long-term commitment because maybe you are at a distance. Why is the six of swords here? Could have been a conversation about it. Yeah, there's a delay. Chariot in reverse. Cancerian energy. Due to physical or emotional distance. Now, right now, you've got the eight of swords. Why is this here? That's your energy. The king of cups. Water. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is either you or the other person. I mean, that Eight of Swords is your energy. Kind of feeling trapped. Like, how are we going to move forward? How are we going to do this? What's going on? Because there's a lot of love with the King of Cups. That King of Cups loves unconditionally. It's very mature love as well. What's this King of Cups doing? Why is this here? The Six of Coin. How are we going to give to the situation? How are we going to reach balance? There is this person that you're connecting with that you guys want balance, but there's something in the way. I mean, join the club. There's a big thing in the way these days. It's called coronavirus. But I'm just saying. On this person's mind is they're having to be confident and strong. We've got strength, which is Leo energy. Why is this here on this person's mind? You have the two of cups. There's a strong connection here. But they're having to hold back. It's like, oh, I want to act on my impulses. I want to go for it. This strength card can be a very sexual card. There's a strong connection here. This is a soulmate, if you believe in that shit, right? But for some reason on their mind, they have to kind of overcome some obstacles and hold back right now. They view you as worried and stressed too. Why is the Nine of Swords here? What's this about? The King of Wands in reverse. They may feel like you can't take action either. I don't think it's necessarily that you've lost passion. Leo Sag Aries. What's the uh, King of Wands? Maybe a fire in your chart. The High Priestess. You have a very psychic, strong spiritual connection with this person. But they view you as worried, stressed. How are we going to move this forward? I'm not confident. I can't take action for some reason. And with the High Priestess holding back. Why the High Priestess? What's this? The Fool? Sign of Aries. But they know that you want a new beginning. You want to take some sort of risk, but there's something holding y'all back. And you're very closed off right now. Fool, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you have emotion for this person too. They view you as wanting to come forward with some sort of emotional offer and take a risk. But maybe there's just a delay right now with that chariot in reverse. You both feel the strong connection. Now, in their emotions, Gemini, they're feeling the Ace of Cups in reverse. Why? Something's unrequited or there's an imbalance. Wheel of Fortune, unforeseen changes. Hello? I mean, what has mom been talking about this whole time? The Wheel of Fortune is just things are out of your hands. It's like the universe. The wheels in the upright, though, they feel, even though they have emotion for you, you have emotion for them, they feel like they can't offer that cup right now. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in their emotion? They're just kind of handing it over to the universe. Devil. Capricorn energy. Why is the devil in their emotions? They feel restricted. There's a lot of restrictive energy here. Why the devil? The two of swords. Yeah, blindfolded. The two of swords can literally talk about being obviously indecisive, but your hands are tied. You can't do anything. There's a lot of restriction here. And so they feel right now emotionally, I can't offer Gemini that cup. Doesn't mean they don't feel it. Because see, moving forward, yeah, I'm going to remain hopeful that we can heal this, that we can manifest the star. Five of cups in reverse, yeah. That we can pick up the pieces. Let's not live in the past. Let's move past it. Whatever's happening here currently, they have the emotion for you. And they're going to remain hopeful that you guys can get past this. What's this five of cups in reverse? The two of wands, maybe getting over the fact that you are at a distance emotionally, physically. You know, because there's this indecision. I can't make a move. Why the two of wands? The seven of swords. Why the seven of swords? Before I open my big fat mouth, why do they feel the seven of swords here? So seven of swords can be strategizing. And with the knight of wands traveling, rushing in to see you. 
there's something to do with emotional or physical distance here. Sagittarius energy with that Knight of Wands. All right. Also, with the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands, they may feel like they have to avoid commitment for now, but they still have it in the overall energy. This is the theme for the reading. But for now, they're like, whoops, I got to kind of pull back. I can't, I can't speak about long term right now. You know, they feel it, but they don't want, it's almost like they don't want to say it because they can't offer it at this moment. Why are they, why is the two of cups on this person's mind? We need to dive deep. I'm a Scorpio. What can I say? The nine of swords. Yeah. See, they're worried about this connection because there's something that's keeping you guys apart. And with that nine of swords, they're stressed out about it. How's this going to come together? By the nine of swords. Justice. You're dealing with somebody who wants to do the right thing. They're waiting for balance. They're waiting to make some sort of decision too because justice is taking a bad situation and making it better. Major arcana, big shifts in energy, a reconciling, that kind of thing. They're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. Life story, right, Gemini? What's going on behind the scenes is also justice. Why is justice here going on behind the scenes? The nine of coin. Balance, doing it on your own for a little while. You guys are separated. This is a reading for somebody that's separated and can't be together, but there's emotion and there's acknowledgement that it is a soulmate. Waiting for balance. You both want to do the right thing. Nobody's trying to screw anybody over, at least not in this reading. All right. But with the nine of coin, trying to get that coin together, trying to get your stability and be on one's own, having to be on one's own for a little bit. Why is the nine of coin in here? Yep. Because of the six of cups. You might be dealing with somebody that has children. They might be a business owner, something like that. They're trying to get their stability together. Six of cups though, again, soulmate energy. Why is, it, why is the six of cups here? Going on behind the scenes, judgment. See, second chances, reviving the past, having fond memories and, and nostalgia of the past. So what this is telling me, what you don't realize, maybe you do, Gemini. You're connecting with somebody who you're apart from, probably, most likely, and will be for a little while. But there's a strong-ass connection. There's a resurrection of a soulmate connection here, and you both want it is what it looks like to me. Your advice is the Knight of Wands, travel, moving forward. What's this Knight of Wands about? Yeah, <laughs> Travel and moving forward, I just said it. And then the Eight of Wands came out. Again, travel and moving forward. Eight of Wands doesn't just have to be communication. This is manifestation. Eight is all about change and taking action. Your advice is that this will happen, but there's a pause. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah, Ace of Wands. A lot of you are connecting with the fire sign or you have fire in your chart. There's a new beginning here. They're telling you to be patient. There's a, a lot of drive and action, but not yet. There's a pause. The outcome also has the eight of wands. So there's going to be a lot of um, back and forth communication, but also change is coming with that eight of wands and movement forward. What's quickly? What's the eight of wands? <laughs> quickly. <laughs> The Knight of Swords, there you are, Gemini. This has happened at least five times this week and the outcome, the sign that I'm reading for is in the outcome, in the court card, it's crazy. Quickly, things are gonna shift very, very fast with that Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. That Knight of Swords is the fastest moving knight in the deck. And it's like when you least expect it, there's a huge turnaround, a big shift. And it's because you guys are being persistent and patient. Remember, we have temperance here because we're waiting for old ways to die. There needs to be a transformation to go towards this long-term commitment. And it's happening. What's the Knight of Swords? Why is this here? Knight of Swords? Whoosh, ten of coin. Told you. Commitment, commitment, commitment. Marriage, commitment. For those of you that are already with this person, I mean, we're all going through this draining energy. There's emotional separation here. People are doing their own thing. It comes back together. If you're not with this person, you guys just have, to, there's some, some delays, especially with that chariot in reverse there. But the 10 of coins says, yeah, there's stability, there's value, there's tangible, you know, energy tied to this that can go the long haul, but you're gonna have to be patient. Why is the 10 of pentacles here? What is this about? The magician in reverse, Gemini Virgo energy. Things are out of your control. You have no power over the situation right now. So temperance is a big, big theme here. I want to learn more about temperance. Tell me why temperance is the overall energy for Gemini and this person because of the tower. Wow, Scorpionic energy. 
a big shakeup. Something, well, that was shocking. Can anybody think of anything that was, well, maybe shocking that we weren't all expecting? Why do we need to be patient? Why? <laughs> I mean, you can't even make this shit up. Why is the tower here? What's this big event or shocking event? What's the tower? The star healing. And that's what everybody's doing. And guess what? Everybody else is, everybody's remaining hopeful right now too, that we're going to get past all this bullshit. Cause it really is keeping people apart that want to be together. I've seen that kind of theme in the readings the last couple days. It's no accident. That star card is wishing, it's manifesting, soulmate twin flame shit. Waiting, seven, a coin. You guys have already planted those seeds and now you're just waiting to be able to pick, right? Your harvest, waiting, reflecting. So this is all about being patient, transformations are coming in and you guys are waiting and reflecting. It's actually not a bad reading, I like it. Why is justice on this person's mind? Waiting for balance, waiting to do the right thing. Why is justice here? Empress, beautiful. Libra, Taurus energy. They wanna grow, they wanna feed the connection. I like both of y'all's energy. Everybody looks pretty honest in this reading. I don't see deceit, I don't see cheating or lying or anything like that. I just see a halt right now. But on their mind is to build and grow and nurture the connection. The Empress is beautiful energy. They're probably very attracted to you physically, but also emotionally, who you are as a person. It's abundant and again, love, you know, the Empress is ruled by Venus. It's all about love, right? So feeding that connection and growing and having a new beginning that's definitely on their mind. They're just at a loss here right now in the outcome, but it comes back together. It's gonna be when you least expect it. There's big, big changes. And I also feel like you guys are gonna have a lot of swift back and forth communication. All right, Gemini, for those that want to uh, check out the extended reading, we're going to dive into their emotions, what's on their mind, how they're going to move forward. I'm going to clarify the shit out of that reading. All right, so I'll see you over on Vimeo for that. If not, I bid you farewell. Loving you hard, love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.